Hey everyone, today I thought it would be interesting to create an iridescent add-on for every killer. My goal with these was to make them either fun and powerful, or both. Let me know what you think, I'm gonna basically quick fire these, a bit like the meme add-on video. Let's get into it. Trappers is named Evan's Drawing. All traps are open at the start of the match. When a survivor is trapped by a bear trap, they are inflicted with the broken status until a generator is completed. Survivors receive difficult skill checks when disarming traps. Okay, so this one's brutal. That's all. <laughs> Wraiths is named Amberant. Cloaked movement speed is increased by 30%. Your movement speed boost after uncloaking lasts an additional 0.5 seconds. Nice and simple, I just want super speedy Wraith. Because I think those add-ons are some of his most enjoyable ones. Hillbillies is named Prized Bacon Grease. Your chainsaw now slides off objects, and you no longer get stunned when colliding with objects. Like how Oni's Kanabo works. Yep, I think that would be fun. Maybe slightly overpowered. Nurses is called Shattered Skull. Blinking through breakable walls and pallets will now shatter them. Blinks recharge 20% faster. I think this is a fun one, whilst not being too powerful, as it's not like pallets are insanely useful against Nurse anyway. Shapes is called Iridescent Kitchen Knife. After draining a survivor completely of stalk, they become exposed for the remainder of the match. This one's fun, I think, because it actually gives a reason for someone to try and avoid your gaze. Maybe it could even allow you to marry them. I think that could be fun. <laughs> Hags is called Old Book. Your teleport range is now uncapped. Gain an additional 10 traps. So, the idea for this is to have a hag who can essentially hold down an entire map, if played well. Maybe that's a bit too much. Maybe. <laughs> Doctors is named Carter's Prescription. Static Blast is now map-wide. Shock Therapy lingers on the ground for 3 seconds after usage. This one seems strong, but I love the idea of the shock lingering somehow, to almost lock down areas. Huntress's add-on is an idea I had a while ago, so you may have heard it before. It's called Iridescent Belt. You begin the trial with 50 hatchets. You can no longer reload your hatchets in lockers. Basically, you get a bunch of hatchets, and you can't reload anymore. Once you're out, you're out. Bubba's is named Cracked Flashlight. Healthy survivors within 16 meters of you receive a 1% hindered status. When revving your chainsaw, survivors within 20 meters will continuously scream. This effect leaves once you rev your chainsaw. Nightmare's add-on is named Mirror Shard. You are now able to use dream palettes and snares, and have 16 dream tokens. Basically, you just get both abilities. I would honestly like to see this as base kit, but I would take it too as an eerie add-on. Pig's add-on is called Amanda's Notes. Reverse bear traps will now begin their timers as soon as they are placed onto a survivor. Bear traps will now progress at 10% of the usual rate when in chase. Survivors search for keys 50% faster. This one's pretty mean, I know. <laughs> Clowns is named Iridescent Bowtie. Okay, this one's brutal, but I think would be fun. Pink bottles now block window vaults, as long as its cloud is touching them. Pink clouds will destroy pallets within them after 5 seconds. Yellow bottles now spawn their cloud instantly. Yellow clouds will speed up vaulting and pallet breaking. Spirits is named Bloody Training Sword. When a full team becomes injured, if the obsession is put into the dying state, they will be instantly morried. Legion's add-on is named Cleaner's Blood. You run and vault 10% faster in Feral Frenzy. You gain an additional 2.5% for each survivor afflicted with deep wounds. Window vaults are blocked for 10 seconds after fast vaulting. So, super speedy bamboozle legion. Plague's add-on is named Entity Pendant. When looking in the direction of a corrupt pool of devotion, consume its contents by pressing the active ability button. This one could come in super clutch, having the red vomit essentially on command. I think there could be fun plays happening with it. Ghost Faces is named Iridescent Cloak. You become entirely silent when you move. Survivors who look in your direction will not hear the reveal noise. This one's a little controversial I reckon, but I love the idea of ultra immersed ghost face. So yeah. 
fight me. <laughs> Demogorgons is named Iridescent Holiday Lights. After placing portals, they become invisible until you exit from them. When exiting, you make no noise. I'm kind of thinking of that scene where the demo pushes through the wall and it like distorts the wall. I think that's fun. <laughs> Oni's is called Iridescent Lord's Tongue. Putting a survivor into the injured state inflicts them with the broken status for the next 60 seconds. Essentially guaranteed blood. That's plenty powerful, I think. Kinda scary too. Deathslinger's add-on is named Iridescent Chain. The Redeemer now takes 0.5 seconds longer to aim down sights. Survivors hit with the Redeemer, within 8 meters of you, are put into the dying state. Survivors who run through the Redeemer's chain will become injured. I'm just gonna let that one sit. Executioner's add-on is named Iridescent Egg. Survivors who come into contact with Trails of Torment will become exposed for 30 seconds. Downing a survivor with Punishment of the Damned will instantly send them to a cage. Tormented survivors in the dying state who come into contact with a Trail of Torment will be instantly sent to a cage. Blights is called a refined soul chemical. Blight's rushes are reduced by two, to a maximum of three. Blight will now continuously run until he collides with an object. Yeah, that one's maybe a little too good, I don't know. Twins is called iridescent frying pan. Each twin is empowered to their strengths. Charlotte moves 3% slower, however she now applies the mangled and hemorrhage statuses when injuring a survivor. Victor moves and can charge his pounce 25% faster, however if an attack is missed he has a 1 second longer cooldown. Trickster's add-on is named Iridescent Blades. Landing 6 blades in a row without missing will put the inflicted survivor into the dying state. Your blades are reduced to 25 for. Nemesis's is named Sharp Bone. Your tentacle distance is increased significantly, allowing a 100% longer reach. You can no longer break pallets or breakable walls with your tentacle. You begin the trial in Tier 3 Mutation. Cenobites is named Iridescent Chains. One chain will constantly spawn for all survivors every 20 seconds, restricting their movement regardless of a chain hunt. Everyone's gonna hate that one, but it's not that bad, I don't think. Artis is named Iridescent Crow. Disturbing crows in the trial grounds instantly swarm survivors, revealing their location. That's it. I thought that was an interesting idea, incorporating the crows a bit more, and it being pretty powerful, I think, too. Sadako's is named Haunted TV. Condemnation will now passively increase at a rate of 1 bar per minute. If you were within 12 meters of an active TV, the condemnation rate will go twice as fast. This is just trying to make condemnation more viable, and also actually scary. Dredges is named Focused Darkness. Nightfall is map-wide at the start of the trial. When a generator is completed, a 32 meter area around the generator returns to regular lighting. Basically, you're placed into darkness, and only gens can get you out of it, as a survivor. Wesker's is named Iridescent Sunglasses. Survivors infected with Ouroboros have their aura revealed when within a 12 meter range. When fully infected, their aura is permanently visible. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. Let me know what you think of these, and be sure to drop your own ideas too, down below. Okay, bye!